there are many bingo variants. Regular, Lockout, Connect 5, Row Control, and Invasion? Invasion is very unique, and here's how it works. A quick vocabulary point here, I'll be referring to columns and rows as lanes in this video, as they serve the same purpose in Invasion Bingo. When the board is clear, players can pick any goal to start with, as long as it's on the edge of the card. Once the first goal gets clicked, it locks its lane as the starting lane for that player. The other one gets the opposite lane as their starting lane. If the first goal is in a corner, the opponent can still pick between any goals in the opposite row and column from that corner to define their starting lane. At this point, both players have a starting lane. Now, how do they invade the board? The goal of invasion is to move forward towards the opponent's side of the board, but you have to respect a couple rules to do so. First, a player can mark any amount of goals on their starting lane. Second, a player cannot mark more goals on the next lane than they've marked on the previous one. Third, goals do not need to connect between lanes. In Lockout Invasion, you win if you get 13 goals marked. Oh yeah, quick word about Lockout. It basically means that once a goal has been clicked, it cannot be clicked by the other player. Although getting to the other side of the board is a cool achievement, you won't win solely from that. Alright, now let's see some quick examples of boards and which goals can be clicked by each player at that point in time. At this point in the match, the yellow player cannot click more goals in row 2 as they only have one in their starting lane, row 1, and only have clicked one in row 2. That being said, they can still mark a goal in row 3. The blue player can still click any goal in row 5, up to 3 goals in row 4, but no goals in row 3 yet. If they complete any one of row 3 goals, they have to delay it until they mark something in row 4. Okay, so here we can do a quick check if the players have been following the rules. From starting lane to the opponent side of the board, for the yellow player, we get 3 goals in the first lane, into 3, into 2, into 2, into 1 which is valid. And for the blue player, we get 4 into 3 into 3 into 1 into 1, which is also valid. Uh, at this point, the yellow player needs to do 5 red cone shines at first, as they can't mark anything else in row 2. And vice versa, the blue player can only get 65 total blues, as they've marked as many goals in row 1 as they have in row 2. Okay, last example here. In this situation, the yellow player clicked a corner goal first but can still mark more goals before the opponent clicks anything. As you can see in orange, they have a lot of options, and anything but 8 shines from Delfino will assign starting lanes for both players. In case they keep going on the diagonal, the next clickable goals will be these ones. This pretty much wraps it up for this video. Quick thanks to Rimado for helping me work on this video. Um, I've been Papacino. If you think I forgot any details, make sure to let me know on Discord or here in the comments. And I catch you guys next time.